Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw a thermometer icon in Adobe Illustrator. So to start with, I've created a new artboard, 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. And I'm going to left click and select the ellipse tool. Left click and hold shift to draw a circle. Hold down shift and alt to scale this down towards the center. And I'm also going to select the line tool, left click and hold shift to draw a perfectly straight vertical line. Just drag over to select both of these and in the alignment options, just make sure that they are aligned centrally to one another. Now I'm just going to select both and increase the weight of the stroke just to make these a bit thicker. And I'm also going to select round cap as the corner so it just rounds off that top part and then select the bottom and just swap the fill and the stroke so effectively there is no stroke now and we have a solid black fill let's just make that a little bit smaller and bring these up so they touch so once you've got this select over everything go to object expand make sure you have fill and stroke selected and click OK and in the Pathfinder panel, select Unite. That's the top left one. Again, let's just scale this up so it's a little bit bigger. What we can do now with our shape selected is go to Object, down to Path, select Offset Path, tick the preview box, and adjust the offset to your liking. So I'm going to go for Let's try 50. When you're happy with your offset, click OK, and it will create a larger version of your thermometer shape with a solid black fill. So again, we're just going to swap the fill and the stroke and increase that stroke weight. And I'm gonna make the width similar to the center part of the thermometer here. So it's a nice consistent width around different elements of the logo. And we can also change the corners. So you can see here that the corners here are quite sharp. We can just round those off. And once we have that, we know that the width of these strokes is 22 points. So we can select our line tool, left click and hold shift, and we can draw a few horizontal lines. Again, we can round the cap on these just to round them off. So let's start with a larger one. We can also use the direct selection tool to select these anchor points and just drag them out as we need to. So let's just make sure that this horizontal line touches the main body of our thermometer. And we're going to left click, hold shift and alt to drag that down and create a copy. And then press Command or Control D to repeat that last action until we've got six. Then with the direct selection tool, we can just drag over this anchor point here, hold down Shift, drag over this one, hold Shift and drag over this one. So with all three selected, we can then use the left arrow key. You can also hold Shift as well to move in larger increments. And we can just bring these three down. So we have our thermometer icon for the most part. The last thing we're going to do is select the type tool, left click anywhere on the artboard, and I'm going to type a capital C. So this is going to represent Celsius. And let's just pick a font, something relatively bold. Let's try, there we go, perfect. And we can also select the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift to create another circle, swap that fill in the stroke, and just bring that stroke weight up slightly. So this is the degree symbol. And we can position that alongside our C, something like this. And then we've created all the elements that make up our thermometer icon. So once you're happy, what you can do is I like to personally keep an editable version of this because we can still adjust the lines and the font if we like. 
So let's just hold Shift and Alt, drag that over, and we can put a copy of this over here if we need to edit it later. Otherwise, we can select everything, go to Object, down to Expand, leave Object Fill Stroke all selected and click OK. And if you press Command or Control Y, you'll be able to see that these are all now finalized shapes and there are no longer any strokes remaining. So we can drag over everything. And if we go into our Pathfinder panel and select Unite, that's the top left one, you'll see that it merges all of these shapes together. And with that shape selected, we can go into our Swatches palette, double click on a swatch, select Global, select Preview, and we can adjust the values to get a swatch that we're happy with. And there we go, we've created a thermometer icon in Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.